What's going on, guys? Welcome back. FantasyTeamAdvisors.com, bringing home the bacon MLB DFS video. It is Thursday. We have, I don't know if you've seen the slate yet. If this is your first look at the slate, um, if you thought yesterday's slate was bad, wait till you check this out. We have four total games on the day. We have the Yankees at Detroit game at 1 p.m., then we have a three-game main slate. So we're it's going to be a quick video. We're going to go through it. Um, yeah, the, the pitching is there. It's going to be... I feel like it's going to be one of those days where it's going to be hard to differentiate yourself. Or just You'll see what I'm talking about. We're going to get into it. If you've never been here before, usually the videos are longer because we have a bigger slate, which we will have that video tomorrow. If you are new to the channel, tons of ways to support the channel. Always liking the videos helps. Uh, clicking on the ads helps tremendously. Um, if you did that, that that'd be awesome. Um, you can always go to fantasyteamadvisors.com. You can sign up to FTA plus twenty four ninety nine for a month, or if you use the promo code NFL VIP for the yearly package, normally one ninety nine. You can get it for ninety nine dollars right now. So, that being said, we are going to see who the winner of yesterday's video is. If you've never been here before, anytime a video get you're a, you have to be a subscriber, you have to leave a comment, and anytime a video gets at least 50 likes, you have a chance to win a free week of DFS. If the video gets 100 likes, you have a chance to win a free month. 125 likes, you have a chance to win a free yearly pass. And if any video gets 150 likes, you have a chance to win a lifetime pass. So it's super simple. Just be a YouTube subscriber and like the video and leave a comment to see who's going to be the winner. And you can win multiple days in a row. We've had people win multiple days in a row. We've had people win handfuls of times. And it just adds to their subscription on the website. So that being said, we're going to see who the winner of yesterday's video is. Drum roll. Ricardo. Love the breakdowns as always, he said. Well, congratulations, Ricardo. If you see this, hit us up. There's two ways. Either email dfshelp1 at gmail.com. That's dfshelp1, the number one, at gmail.com. Let me know a username that you would like to use and an email associated with that. Or if you want to hit us up on Twitter slash X at advisors underscore team with the same info. If you already have an account on the website, let us know that as well. And we will get you squared away for that free week pass of DFS. And because it is Thursday, you will get the start of the NFL season. So, anyone else want to try and win? Pretty simple. So, that being said, congratulations, Ricardo, and we are digging in. So, you can't use this game unless you're doing an all... I don't even know if FanDuel has an all-day slate. Let me see. Um, the fact that I, this is a weird, I, I don't know why there's only this many games. So, yep, you can, uh, on FanDuel, uh, there's a chance to have an all day slate, which is neat, I guess, um, which will include this game. So we're going to cover it real quick, but we're not going to cover any of the pitching or anything. So, um, Clark Schmidt versus Matt Manning, the way the Yankees have been hitting, it's looking like a Yankee stack here. Uh, Glaber's hit th home runs in three straight games, so every game of this series he's had a home run, if you want to go with that narrative. Um, you've got uh, Stanton, who had a home run yesterday. Judge did not. Uh, it just depends on the lineup that goes out there. Again, waivers, they can be claimed. This is one where be a little bit weary. Uh, the Yankees did place Harrison Bader on the... Um, on waivers so he can get claimed this is his last day he can get claimed which most likely he will so he is probably not going to be in the lineup but if he is do not get screwed over by let's say he you know he does get claimed in the middle of the game they pull him so that being said that would be the i would just be looking at uh the yankees bats here um the way detroit's been playing in this series i don't know the yankees finally won a series since july uh do they lose this game they could but they can go for the sweep before they head to uh, houston that being said, Matt Manning, on the other hand, only has faced two of these batters. Not much going on. Um, I would probably, if you are looking, I would look at Schmidt here, and then I would look at the Yankees bats over. If we are looking at Detroit bats, it would be Riley Green, Spencer Torkelson. Um, there's not a ton 
to look at. Parker Meadows would be one maybe we could look at. But other than that, there's just other um, options that I like. So this being a game that's six hours before the other ones, I'm not going to be playing the all-day slate. That brings us to the main slate of the massive three games. So at the end of this video, uh, if you don't know, we are going to do uh, simulation. So on the website, we, we do 2,000 simulations for your videos. And then before the, the slate locks, we do uh, the 10,000 simulations. And then you can do a side-by-side -side to see how the players uh, have changed throughout the day. And then that's a way to look at kind of like the ownership that you might be looking at. And then if you want to go contrarian. The thing is with this three-game slate, I don't know how much of a difference it's going to be uh, compared to um, like a full slate. So that's just something to look at. So, Braxton Garrett versus Joan Adon. So, looking at this, we've got Braxton Garrett here. We did use him as last start. Six innings um, in that game against Washington. Three earned runs, only three Ks, no walks. At 7,200, obviously 8.7 is not enough. He's facing the same team he is that he just faced. Now he's facing them on the road. So, looking at splits, he's faced Washington twice this year already. 12 innings pitch, 11 hits allowed, 4 earned runs, but 11 Ks. He's averaging 18.6 fantasy points per game in those two starts, which is not bad. Especially on a slate like this, you got to get creative in some way. Like, this is a weird slate. Um, Adon, on the other hand, just faced him his last start as well. Uh, went In that game, he went 6 innings, no earned runs, 3 Ks, had 21.1 fantasy points at 5,500, and now he's $100 less. Um, do you want to go crazy? You can. Uh, we saw what he was able to do. Whether or not he's able to replicate that, because we have seen in the past when a pitcher faces a team he just faced and had a pretty good game the time before, usually they get hit um, because they had never seen him before. Now they have. So whether or not you want to do that, but at 5,400, especially on a slate with this pitching, I'm okay with uh, pretty much any pitcher on here. If you're looking for bats in this one because you don't want to go with pitching, just I want to be on the record that this is probably a day you might want to take off and just relax, but I know you guys can't do that. And I don't know if you saw us on Twitter yesterday, but we tweeted out our biggest sports bet so far. Um, bet $25 yesterday that Trey Turner and Bryce Harper would both hit a home run. We cashed for $475. Um that is why our balance has gone up. So it was a pretty good day. Um, thought we'd get more out of the uh, the Braves game than we actually did. Uh, so my bets in the Braves game kind of went by the wayside so far, but we will see how it finishes out. So bats-wise in this one, if you're not taking it on, you could be looking at Jake Berger. Uh, you could be looking at Jazz. Jorge Soler, I don't mind, but he did get taken out of the game on, was it Tuesday? Or when let's see yeah so he got taken out of the game due to his hip and then he was not in the game Wednesday I don't know like his hip tightened up on a swing I don't know if he's going to be in there probably not I would assume they just let him rest here uh, so that is kind of a thought that he's probably out um, in that in instance you go Jesus Sanchez I'd also go Brian De La Cruz and Josh Bell for the lineups here. Maybe a little bit of Luis Arise as well. If you're not going with Garrett and you want to go with Washington Bats, um, not a ton. Joy Manessis, I don't mind. Lane Thomas, I'm okay with. Uh, Ruiz, I'm okay with. CJ Abrams. Um, that's kind of it. There's not a ton that I like. I kind of feel like this could be a low-scoring game. I think both pitchers could, in fact, have a decent game here. So I'm probably, again, I'm probably playing very light on the day. Um, I'm going to save my money. I don't want to throw it away here. I want to save it and build up for our uh, DraftKings football for next week. So that also reminds me, in the link in the description of this video is the uh, DraftKings. Uh, we have a league over there. It's going to be a weekly league. So we have 200 spots every single week. Uh, it's first come, first serve. And if every it's ten dollars a week, if everybody, uh, if we do fill it up for two hundred, then 
top five places will pay each week top prize being 580 every single week if we get 200 spots so just wanted to bring that to your guys attention um we're a week away from it we're very excited giants at the padres you got to be announced versus pedro avila um it's looking like it's going to be shamanaya now this isn't confirmed uh, he did pitch last on saturday so it's his fifth day um I'm not sure. Manaya apparently is usually follows an opener, so we'll kind of see that. He only went 3.2. Problem is he's not going deep into games, um, so he, as a viable option here, yeah, he put 11.3 up, and that is double here. But if he's not going, you know, four or five innings, probably not going to get much out of him. So he's probably one I'm probably going to avoid and look at San Diego bats. And then Pedro Avila here, I believe, if it'll load. There we go. Game logs. Yeah, he went 4.1 innings his last start um, against Milwaukee. Five earned runs, got three fantasy points. He He's actually only made two total starts, and he's only been in eight total games. Pitching on or at home, the, he hasn't started at home. He does have a good ERA at home. It is a pitcher's park. The problem is we're not at 6,300. I'm not paying for him because I don't know how deep he'll go into a game. Um, specifically at 6,300, why not go Adon here for 5,400 um, or go up to Garrett 8,200? Again, this is not the best slate. So that being said, I'm probably avoiding this. I'm probably looking at the bats in this one if I'm playing this game at all or this slate at all. So we can kind of look at this slate here. Um, if you're not using either pitcher, Jock Peterson, J.D. Davis, I'm okay with. Uh, Austin Slater, I'm okay with. Patrick Bailey, I don't mind. Casey Schmidt, is it going to be a cheaper option? I don't mind him. Or maybe Lamont Wade Jr. Flip side of that, the Padres bats that I would look at against Manaya or whoever the opener is. And then Manaya, Juan Soto, I don't care if it's a lefty on lefty. He's got great numbers. Tatis, I'm okay with. Machado is pretty good for me. Uh, Gary Sanchez against a lefty, I always like to look at him. Bogarts I would look at for sure. Hassan Kim I would also look at if you're going with a San Diego stack. Then the final game on the slate already. The Braves at the Dodgers. Spencer Strider versus Lance Lynn. Strider obviously is the number one pitcher. Um, he's dominating, but he does have come into a, a matchup. He's, he's faced 35 plate appearances of the Dodgers, a 273 batting average, 28.6K percentage. And then Lance Lynn, 107 plate appearances against the Braves, 191. I feel like this is skewed. It's got to be like, I'm trying to think who's on this team that I don't think it's going to be spread out very much. Well, it's spread out between five. Matt Olson batting 222. Ozuna batting 158. Murphy batting zero. Nicky Lopez batting 267. Rosario batting... 222 so yeah i mean it's kind of you know not not a ton going on here uh but the problem is i, I the difference in price is crazy from strider to lynn so looking at this game logs obviously coming off really good games here against san francisco i think we knew that we've took them both times Super expensive, but, I mean, he is 300 less now because he's going against the Dodgers. He's already faced them once this year. Uh, six innings in that game, two earned runs, four runs total, 11 Ks, but did have three walks. Got 26.7 fantasy points, which would be perfect for what we need here. Um, but, again, the, the Dodgers hit the ball very well. Trying to see when this was. Was it recently? It was back in, on May 23rd at home. So, ball really wasn't uh, flying out as much. I still like him, though. And then the flip side of that is Lance Lynn. Uh, game logs, not a good game against Boston. Some good games through here since getting traded. But, yeah, he, he did get eaten up by Boston in that one. Splits-wise, he has faced Atlanta once this year. 5.1 innings, 4 earned runs. Ended up getting the W here. Uh, had 6 Ks but 3 walks. 6.75 ERA and only 14.6 fantasy points, which would not hit our value of the two times value that we always look for. So I don't, I don't think I can use Lance Land because the Braves are the Braves. They're a hot hitting team. Uh, they're the best team in baseball right now. That's kind of what I would look at. So probably avoiding Lynn. Probably I am avoiding Manaya. I would look at Strider. I would look at Garrett. 
um, I would look at uh, a Don a little bit. So if you do want to look at the bats real quick in this one, I, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, the bats in here, but we'll go over them real quick. If you're not going with either pitcher and you are going the bats, obviously Matt Olson, Ronald Acuna, Austin Riley, I would look at Michael Harris. I would look at Eddie Rosario, Orlando Arcia, Albies, Kevin Pillar. These are ones that I would look at. Uh, on the flip side, if you're not going with Strider and you want to look at the Dodgers, Mookie Betts leading off, no-brainer. Max Muncy, Freeman, Will Smith, again, who depends on who starts the outfield, but David Peralta or James Altman, I don't mind. And then Ahmed Rosario is another option as well. And there you have it, guys. There's there's the four total games, three on the main slate. That's the breakdown. Now, we will look at the pitchers and the batters after 2,000 simulations. I don't think it's going to be a surprise, but again, there's only eight teams that it can pick from. So it's got number one, as in Ronald Acuna Jr. It has Austin Riley, number two. Number three is Aaron Judge. Number four is Michael Harris. Number five is Dominic Smith. Six is Mookie Betts. Seven, Matt Olson. Eight, Lane Thomas. Nine, Marcelo Zuna. And ten is Josh Bell. Those are the batters. And then if we look at the pitchers, it's got Clark Schmidt as the number one. Two is Spencer Strider. Three is Matt Manning. Four is Od Adon. Five is Lance Lynn. And six is Braxton Garrett. So that's what it's got right now. Um, obviously, we will see if there's openers, and then we'll see if there's not openers, and that'll change a little bit. But that is it. I mean, this not it's not my most favorite slate, obviously. Um, hopefully, this was an easy listen to you guys today, uh, being a shorter video. We will obviously be back tomorrow with a better video, a longer video, because there'll be more games to cover. And then we are in the thick of it, guys. Um, I have a fantasy football draft tonight. And then I have one on Sunday, and then that is it. I am good to go. I am ready to rock and roll. Um, it's football season, and we already are working on the matchup tool, which I will show you real quick. Give me one second. All right, so you can't see it yet, but this is our matchup tool. This is the start of it. Um, we have every position broken down. And it, this, how to read, and I will have a video on this. I just wanted to kind of show you. Um, you read it this way. So this is the defense, the opposing defense. This is what they allowed in 2022. Obviously, that's all we have to go off of at the moment is the stats they allowed in 2022, and we can build it out through there. So these are what they gave up to the quarterbacks in 2022, and then you can go ahead, and if you play on DraftKings, if you play on FanDuel, whatever you do, if you want to look at total or what they gave up fantasy points per game allowed, that is there as well. You can... Say we're playing on DraftKings total. We're going to largest. So the Detroit Lions defense gave up the most amount of fantasy points per game last year to quarterbacks at 24, which would then include uh, be, hey, let's go Patrick Mahomes as the number one quarterback according to this due to you know the Lions defense and stuff like that. Obviously, it's the offseason. They've either added people or they've lost people. And... A lot can change, but this is the stats we have to go off of now. This does not include like the pricing of FanDuel or DraftKings if it's feasible and stuff like that. So that is something, a tool we will be looking at. We honestly don't know what the Cardinals are going to do. Um, the Cardinals, I believe, are tanking. I think they're going to try to go 0-18 or 0-17 or how many games there are. Um, I have a feeling that's probably what they're going to be doing because um, they released Colt McCoy. Kyler Murray is obviously not going to start with the ACL thing. Then they have a backup quarterback and another one, and they're they're not saying who's going to start. So that is definitely something to look at. The other one that I don't know is if Joe Burrow is going to be able to go for week one. Um, other than that, we've got who we want to target, and we've got everything here. Same thing with running backs. So what we do is we do the top two running backs, unless it's like a running back by committee, where it will um, – tell us you know top three or something like that uh, at each position so this will be filled out all the way down as you can see this is from last year but uh, we'll go through that and it's another fantastic tool for you guys to use uh, it's part of the premium con actually no this as of right now as long as this gets views it will be part of the 
it'll be free for a couple of weeks and then this will be part of the premium content so then the videos we put out during the week will be rankings for season long and dfs um, we'll do that each week with court with every position probably do it all in one video instead of each individual videos uh, so there'll be longer videos but hopefully they help you guys out so i do suggest to hit the bell notification so you guys know when we put out videos and then i know you guys want me to do breakdowns like i do with mlb i don't know if i'm able to do that with this i'm still trying to find websites to run those breakdowns so um, trying to figure that out as well and we'll move forward with that so that's what i've gotten this i know you guys are here for baseball and we are done so good luck on this slate and as always let's bring home some bacon peace